I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is all about different types of weathering. I take one finger on the left and I put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line all the way across to the right hand side. Now so I don't forget what I'm doing. I'm going to put up here weathering. I'm going to put erosion and deposition. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw. And this is going to be one of those drawings where you're going to label your picture. So let's see if we can get this all together. Okay, right even with erosion, I'm going to draw a big curve line down, around, and off the page. I come back up to the top and I mimic that line again. I draw a big curve line down and off the page. Inside, I'm going to draw arrows. And we'll talk about why after we color and do everything else. Label. Down at the bottom, I do a wavy, wavy, wavy line across the bottom. Coming on the left hand side, I'm just going to do some wavy lines going up. And I will tell you what those are. Once we draw them, I'm going to do it on the right hand side also, all the way down. Okay, now in between my arrows, I'm just going to draw some wavy, wavy line, connect, wavy line, connect, wavy, wavy line, connect, wavy line, connect, wavy, wavy line, wavy line, connect. Okay, I come over here on the left hand side and I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line out, curve line down wavy line in, off the page. Right here at that point, I draw a straight line down, bam, until it crashes into this line. Come up a little bit, we're going to draw another slightly wavy line out, curve line down, wavy line in, connect. Right on this section, we're just going to draw a straight line down, Bam, it crashes into that, connect. Now we come up to this point and we're just going to draw a slightly wavy line over. And now we're going to draw slightly wavy lines down, 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 connect. We can draw maybe one right here, connect. Let's draw another straight wavy line, connect. Come up to the top some straight lines, come up to this point, point, uh, point, just draw some straight lines, and I'll explain all of this once we get done, and some straight lines, okay? Next, come over here on the right hand side, and we're just going to draw a floating line in the middle. Come up to the top and put a dot. From that dot, we're just going to draw a slightly wavy line out, curved line, wavy line up, curved line, connect. Come down to the bottom and we're just going to draw a slightly wavy line down, connect, and then a slightly wavy line down, connect again. Inside, we're just going to draw some floating slightly curved lines up and over. Come down here and we're just going to draw some more curved lines, straight lines. Okay. Now we're going to draw an arrow that goes like this, jump over, and now another arrow that goes up like this. And again, I will explain once we get this drawn. Now, right below we are going to draw a wavy, wavy line 
and leave it floating. Right about here, put a dot, and we're going to draw a curve line down, connect, come back to the dot, curve line down, connect. Come a little bit over and put another dot, and we're going to draw a curve line down, connect, come back up to the dot, curve line down, connect. Come back to the left. Now we're going to draw a big curve line down, connect on the left, and a big curve line down, connect on the right. Come back over here and we're just going to draw a curve line up, connect, jump over, curve line, jump over, curve line, connect, jump over. Now we're just going to draw wavy lines all the way across. Okay? And this one has an arrow going down. Okay? Alright. Now we're going to go back and for weathering on, I'm going to add one more arrow. For weathering on the Earth's surface, that is when it gets broken down. And small pieces of the Earth moves through erosion. That's this this word. Then the small pieces down here deposition are deposited deposition at the very very end of wherever that river is flowing. Now the way it breaks down the rocks okay is through water. And it's the pressure of the water against the rock that makes the erosion happen. And it doesn't happen overnight. It takes forever for this to go on. And the best example, and I only drew part of it, is the Grand Canyon. Because the Colorado River has been wearing away, weathering away, eroding away this structures that are making up the canyon, the rock structures, okay? And all of that happens from the water flow going down, okay? So the Grand Canyon is an example of weathering using water pressure. See, it's all pressure, all about the pressure, okay? Then you come up over here and this is erosion and weathering by wind. So you're going to write the word wind. And these are mushroom, mushroom rocks. And you can find these in Kansas. And these are really amazing. The pressure of the wind is so strong that the big part of the rock has been weathered away, eroded away, erosion away, and the deposition of all of that can flies around in dirt and sand, okay? Those are the mushroom rocks in Kansas. You might want to Google those. Now, the other way that you can do the uh, weathering is through ice, okay? In New Zealand, in New Zealand, you will find a split apple rock. Split apple rock. And they think that what happened was the water seeped in to the rock during the ice age. It froze, expanded, and that's what split the rocks. So it's a combination of pressure, water, wind, and ice. Okay? I hope you got that. All right, now we're gonna color. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is color in my water of my Colorado River. So I just took blue and I colored this in. Now, just like I've done in other drawings, for this one, you don't really wanna color dark and hard because you don't wanna lose the detail of everything going on here. And there is a lot going on. Okay, because next you want to take a light, this is peach, 
but you could use a light brown you could even use orange or yellow and these are the broken off pieces along the sides of the canyon that are being pressurized and eroded by the water okay these little things they look like popcorns these are actual pieces falling off and they're going to be deposited at the end of wherever the Colorado River ends now this is the Grand Canyon now I only did part of the Grand Canyon but with my same peach because you kind of want it to be the same color as what's getting eroded off of the canyon I did this first with peach and then I went back and got a darker brown just to give it a little bit more depth okay now the best thing to do would be to actually google all of these pictures and I'm positive some of you can probably draw them better than me but the concept is changing the world or changing the earth through pressure and weathering and erosion that makes up the um, the planet okay now the the mushroom rocks are really interesting definitely look those up and I just put a little bit of my brown and my peach and these are in Kansas I used to live in Kansas and it's very flat and when that wind comes up I can totally understand how uh, over thousands and thousands of years I'm double coloring this with a lot of brown thousands and thousands of years these kinds of erosions would have happened okay now this the split apple rock is really interesting I used violet on this part and then I used gray a little bit of gray over it and this rock in New Zealand is really interesting then I used some gray over here on this outside part and then I used brown because it's sitting on like a little island and I forgot just some little birds that's what cracked me up when I looked at the actual picture these little birds hang out there and what's interesting about this is the Maharis have a legend about it so that shows you how long it's been around then I took my blue green and I just did some wavy lines and looped de looped over the top anyways the Mayaris have a whole legend about it about the split apple rock and again you should google the picture and see what it looks like okay so that's basically the concept let's see what this looks like all colored in okay so just for review the earth's surface gets broken down through weathering Small pieces of the earth get moved through erosion, through water, wind, and ice. The small pieces are deposited somewhere else through a process called deposition, and that's what's right down here and along the sides, okay? All of this happens with wind, water, ice, and pressure. Okay, bye-bye.